Shirley, Corey, these two children in this video were minding their own business. They don't know either of the two men who were involved in the shootout. They were just walking to the bodega and they are lucky to be alive. You are watching a miracle, a reckless, cold-blooded gunman seen in this newly released surveillance video chasing down his intended victim Thursday evening on Sheridan Avenue in the Mount Eden section of the Bronx. As the intended victim scrambles to dodge the shots, you can actually see dust flares as the bullets hit the sidewalk. The two siblings caught in the middle of it, the 10-year-old sister armed with the bravery and presence of mind to do whatever she could to protect her little brother. The entire scene is at once shocking and heartbreaking for what these two kids had to live through. I'm really shook just watching that video. Is, it's scary. That is frightening. The NYPD has not officially identified the victim, who was taken to an area hospital with gunshot wounds to his legs and back. But a law enforcement source close to this open investigation tells us he's a known gang member who has at least two arrests in the last several years, one for allegedly shooting into a crowd and another just last year for gun possession. He got away with the help of a waiting getaway driver on a moped. NYPD Chief of Department Rodney Harrison came to the scene Friday afternoon. Anytime you see a, a horrible incident where uh, somebody's shooting somebody right in front of kids, it's alarming to me. We have to evaluate some of these crime scenes and see, work out with our, with our bureau chiefs, with our commanding officers, hey, what resources do you need to identify this individual and uh, bring him to justice? This shooting is the latest in what has been a troubling year of gun violence in New York City. The numbers telling the story. Here in the NYPD's 44th precinct, there have been 32 shooting incidents this year. That's a 300 57% increase when compared to 2019, the last quote-unquote normal year before the pandemic. Gun violence isn't just a Bronx problem either. When you look at the same statistic for the entire city, the data shows 634 shooting incidents so far in 2021. That's a 101% increase compared to 2019. Disgusting. Really disgusting. It's dangerous to sign up over here. Dangerous. Not surprisingly, no one wanted to talk on camera about what they saw or what they heard. They are scared. We spoke with someone who lives near the shooting scene. They know the two children. They know the family. They said those two kids had trouble sleeping. That is not surprising, considering what they went through. In the Bronx, Jay Dow, Pix11 News.